So hi, I'm Seth. Hi, I'm Erica, and welcome to the second episode of Food Finders. Finders. Today, we're gonna be reviewing ramen. So when my producer told me this, I was so freaking excited because I freaking love ramen. We're gonna go to five different places. My criteria for judging is the broth. I would really like it if it was thick and it coats your mouth a bit because of the fattiness from mm. the bones that's been simmered for a long period of time. For the ajitsuke tamago, which is the egg, I like it to have the custard-like center. So, Runny yolk. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, not too hard. Noodles wise, uh, springy, definitely I prefer the firmer types. So without further ado, let's head to our first destination. We're now at Ramen Kesuke Tonkotsu King. This is the Paya Leba Square outlet. This is one of my favorite ramen places. Same. I'm sure a lot of you know this. It's very popular. And Mr. Kesuke, the CEO of Ramen Kesuke, is actually a ramen champion. He won the ramen champion in 2011 in Tokyo and he is known as the ramen king in Japan itself. For this one, the Paya Leba Square, it's kind of like a really cute like hole in the wall it's very cozy yeah, it kind of feels like japan where it's like all small and cramped and everyone stares at you to finish eating so what i really love about tonkatsu king is that they have complimentary hard boiled eggs and also green sprouts this is called the tonkatsu special so it's a 1490 and it comes with everything here from the black fungus to the spring onion and also the tamago you can choose the kind of broth you want you want like light normal or strong in terms of the soup you can actually see like little bits of fat floating around like the collagen. Eat the takimasu. You gotta train you to say that like in one of the places. No. No. Very strong pork flavor. It has the thing that I talked about earlier about how we will coat your mouth. The noodles are a bit too soft for my liking. Really? But I still have the option to change it to other noodles. You can specify it in the form. They got the egg gardeners pretty spot on. Still pretty custody. Fun fact, Kesuke okay, actually owns their own chicken farm. So like the eggs are from their own chicken farm. This broth, it's a bit on the heavier side, so that's my personal preference, which I really like. But it's like really on the gelat side, so I think after this, you really feel like, oh my gosh, this, I've eaten a lot. This can become a bit overwhelming. I'm gonna try the chasing. So it was tender and it's not overly like salty. A bit more to the fatty side because I really don't like lean meat very much. <laughs> I would give it a 5 upon 5. I just find it really delicious. It's one of my favorite kind of ramen. I would give this a 4 upon 5. The soup is a bit too rich. Just feels like a bit of a heart attack after half a bowl. Alright, we're done. Let's go to the next ramen place. So we're here at Brothers Ramen in International Plaza at Tanjong Paga. Brothers Ramen is actually a Singaporean ramen shop run by two brothers. The lunch crowd is insane. The whole concept started like solely based on experimenting from ramen recipes downloaded online. They also have their own like in-house freshly made ramen noodles every day. They actually have automated machines for you to key in your orders and just pay through the machines. This is the Superman ramen. It's called the Superman ramen? It has the egg, it has chicken, it has char siu. It's 1690 for this bowl. This soup base is made with chicken, fish and vegetables. The meat itself just looks really lean, so I, I don't have high expectations for it being very tender or juicy. And it comes with a dumpling, dumpling. as well. Never had ramen with dumpling, so this yeah. is a new one. It looks like a freaking sui tiao, you know? A sui tiao is asleep. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not sweet tea. Oh, you didn't do the Japanese way of eating it. Which is what? You have to say itadakimasu. Uh, itadakimasu! I like how rich looking the soup is. Actually, I'm not a fan of the broth. I like the chicken one. Really? Uh, I, I prefer the pork one. But I love the noodle texture. It has the right balance of chewy and bouncy. It feels very eggy, like a very Singaporean style of noodles. Springier than some of the noodles we have. I like this actually a lot more. So I tried the lean chashu. Yeah. And I'm not feeling it. No. I don't like like tough meat. Don't like the meat hard. I like the egg. It's seasoned really well. You can see the marinade is penetrated a lot more. So okay. they stop saying that word. The dumpling is made of minced chicken, mushrooms, and chestnuts. chestnuts. Tastes pretty meh. The meat is because like they are so lean. It actually goes with like the very fat soup. So my final verdict is three upon five. But that's because it was really my personal preference. I actually quite like chicken base broth as well. And I like the thicker, creamier type where it's quite similar to tonkotsu. You get like the creamy textures as well. I would actually give it four upon five. We're done here, so let's go to the next one. So we're here at Takagi Ramen at Angmokyo. The owners of this place just really, really love 
of ramen. They even went to school in Japan just to learn how to make it. Ramen is kind of like the hawker food in Japan. When they were in Singapore, they couldn't find like a good affordable, yeah, affordable uh, ramen. So the concept here is very much neighborhood, casual, affordable mm. ramen. One of the first times I actually tried Takagi ramen was through delivery. The packaging was what really stood out for me. It's a customized package and it separates the noodles from the soup itself. So when it arrives at your house, it's not soggy. So we have here the Takagi ramen bowl with us. It costs $6.90 and you can add on $1 for the Ajitsuke Tamago. This is one of the most affordable ramen places that we've been to so far. This is actually pork collar, so it's a bit lean. But like when I was trying to pick it up, it actually started to just disintegrate. If prepared it in such a way like it really just falls apart. Thinly sliced, very soft. Their noodles are actually handmade in their central kitchen. I don't think it's handmade, it's like machine made. A machine made, but they have to put it in the machine with their hands. <laughs> so you look at the egg, the whites have like a lot more gradient of the dark mm. uh, soy marinade. I think the egg is really well done. Some places add a lot of mirin, so like you get a lot of sweetness in the egg seasoning, but not this one. It's more towards the savory side. If you ever run out of noodles, there's actually one free refill for every bowl. I really like the noodles. I like that springiness. It's not too hard, but also not too soft. This is really light in the sense that you don't get like oil. The flavor itself is not so overpowering. You don't feel gelat or like, you don't get too sick of it. Like the more you keep eating because it's quite light, but it's still delicious. Real light broth, but it still retains like a lot of the intense flavors. I guess I would give it a 4.5 because it's 690, but it's still delicious. And uh, why not five stars? I think it's just. I don't know, I can't describe it. It's like lacking a bit of like okay. something. One like, more like mm. I would actually give this 5 on 5 purely for the value for money. 790 for this amount is really impressive. I bought <laughs> the hawker food as more than 790. Alright, we're done here, so let's go. So we're here at Ramen Nagi in Suntec City. Ramen Nagi has really made a name for itself uh, by winning Ramen Champion three times in Tokyo. They are very proud of their customization as well. You can make your richness of taste light, normal, or rich. So we have here the Butao King. This one is actually 30. $13.90. If you want to add on the tamago, it's another $2. Altogether, this is $15.90. Seth and I have different bowls. I can either choose to have the cabbage, which is what I have, or you can choose the spring onion instead. For the pork, you can choose either the pork shoulder or the pork belly. Soup looks super gao. It looks super oily. This is Hakata style ramen. This tends to be a lot thinner. Like when I first tried the broth, instantly strong garlic flavor just hit me. I don't hate it. I like garlic, so. This is more on the heavier side for me, actually. It's actually the best thing I've had so far. Splits open really, really Aww. easily. Like it's so super soft. That is the tastiest so far. Yeah, okay, the texture yeah, is so no. good. For the noodles, is it too soft for you? It's a bit soft for me. I like the texture because it's, it's just thinner. It's still a bit on the softer side, but again, you can still choose whether you want your noodles to be hard, extra hard, normal, soft, and then extra soft. It seems to have like a much larger range of customization. Oh my god, yum. You get different layers of meat and then fat, really, really juicy, tender. Do you like it? Good. Like, she likes it a lot. <laughs> can I try the shoulder now? Yeah, let's try the shoulder. I, I'm not crazy yeah, about it. it. Yeah, not a fan. It just tastes it off. It's like, just the marinade. It doesn't complement the shoulder meat. Pick the pork belly. Don't go for the pork shoulder. So, I'd give ramen nagi a 4.5 upon 5. I didn't give full 5 stars just because of the pork shoulder. But everything else tastes really good. The pork belly. I like how it's different from the other ramen. I give this a 4. 1.5, best ajitama I've had so far. Definitely minus points for the, the pork shoulder. I'm ready for more ramen, let's go. So we're here at Kanchoku Ramen at Orchard Gateway. Kanchoku is actually opened by two Singaporeans. So Kanchoku actually means uh, to finish your food. To every last bit, yeah. What makes them special is they want to make the broth lighter. So when it comes to the soup base, it is less fatty than maybe some other ramen places. They want it to be cleaner, lighter, so that you don't feel so gelat. So you can finish the bowl and hopefully come back another day. For the stock that they make, they actually omit the pig's head and pork belly. So they only use like the leaner cuts. They also actually make their own um, Hakata style ramen. This bowl itself without the egg is $13.90. If you want the tamago egg, then you have to add on another $2. Yeah, yeah it's definitely not as oily. Some ramen have it, like a, a layer of oil or even like pork lard just floating around. Yeah. Actually, those are the kinds that I like. It's very light. So I'm gonna use my chopsticks to cut the egg open. So it's very custody. But like you can see from the marination, it, it hasn't, hasn't been marinated very long. It doesn't penetrate yeah, very uh -huh. deep in. It's gonna give you like a very lightly seasoned uh, ajitsuke. 
but the consistency is really good. It's not been marinated long, but I still like it. I didn't cut it as well as you. Oh, weak chopstick skills, that's why. Normal firmness noodle is definitely too soft for me, so I would probably have opted for like the hard texture. I finally tried the soup and very clear but still very flavorful. The noodles are not as bouncy as I would like them to be. A bit more on the softer yeah. side. It still tastes good. This is the pork char siu. The soup version is only braised, so they don't char it or whatever. It's still fairly tender, actually. You can see a lot of like the fat. But the char siu, for me, flavor-wise, it's a bit bland. It's actually a lot of noodles, man. I'll give this a 3 among 5, probably. Oh. The general seasoning are all very light, which is again not really my preference. I, I prefer like a heavier seasoning. I can see how kanshoku ramen is something that people can eat every day because it's really not that gelat. I would give it like a 3.5 upon 5. I would totally come back especially to try their truffle ramen because like that's what they became super popular for. Okay guys, so we come to the end of this episode. What's your favorite ramen? My favorite ramen, hands down, because of the value is Takagi ramen. It's really hawker price ramen that you, you just simply cannot find anywhere. I'm actually really torn between Keisuke and Ramen Nagi. They're really delicious in their own ways, but for me, Keisuke still comes out on top. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Let us know what you want to see next. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Right, bye.